Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we're going to discuss some of the reasons why your front load washer doesn't drain. We'll look at some of the components that may be involved and where they're located, and how to test them to see if they are defective. Now, before we begin our troubleshooting process, the first thing we'll want to do is verify that there are no kinks in the drain hose. If your washer has been recently installed or recently moved, the drain hose may have a kink in it. So first of all, check that and make sure that there is no blockage there and then we can proceed with our troubleshooting. If we've determined that there is no kink in your drain hose, our next step will be to look at the tub. Check for signs of any excessive suds inside of the tub. When you use too much detergent or the improper detergent, you can create a lot of suds in the washer and the drain pump is incapable of getting rid of that. If you do have a lot of suds, stop the washer, open the door, remove any of the items in there, and then run it through a quick rinse cycle to get rid of the excess suds. Now the most common cause for a no drain situation in a front load washer is debris caught inside of the drain pump. Now most drain pumps will have some type of a trap that is supposed to catch any of those foreign objects that may make its way through the tub and get jammed inside of that housing. That will prevent water from getting into the pump and therefore prevent it from draining water out of the washer. You may also find items such as coins or credit cards that have worked their way down into that area as well. So our first step will be to remove that trap, clean out any debris, remove any items that were in this housing. Before we put it back together, we're going to look in through that opening to the front of the pump assembly and you'll see the impeller. Just make sure that it is not blocked, and it's not damaged and will turn easily. With it removed from the washer, we also have a second view through the outlet port of the pump and then looking in there, it does look like there may be some damage. So we're going to remove the pump housing from that motor just to get a better look. And as suspected, there is damage to that pump impeller and that pump is no longer usable and will need to be replaced. Now we've eliminated foreign objects in the pump body as being a cause of the no drain situation. The next thing we need to look at is the pump itself. We can check the motor for continuity using a multimeter. Now to do a continuity test, we simply need to disconnect the wire harness to the motor, exposing the terminals, and then using our meter leads, we'll measure continuity between those two points. And it's typically something less than 50 ohms resistance. This motor does show continuity, so it should be okay. We can also do a live voltage check to test the motor. A live voltage test of the drain motor requires the electrical schematic for your model and you also should be comfortable with doing live voltage checks. Now another cause for a no drain situation on a front load washer could be the drain hose itself. As mentioned before, small items may get between the inner basket and outer tub and get pulled down into the pump and jam at that place. However, sometimes those items may get pulled through the pump and get into the drain hose. So we'll want to inspect that drain hose from the exit end right from the pump. Just flex the hose, see if you can feel any items that may be jammed in there. And you may also need to remove the lower access panel at the front, disconnect the hose right from the drain pump, and check it all the way through. And verify that there are no obstructions that will prevent that washer from draining. Now once we've eliminated items caught in the drain pump, the drain pump itself, or the drain hose as being a possible cause for a no drain situation, we should next look at our main control board. The main control board is typically located inside of the cabinet. There will be a user interface control located on the front which will allow us to select a cycle and any options and start that cycle. But the main control board inside of the washer is actually what sends power to the drain pump. So if we verify that the drain pump appears to be normal but doesn't function, we should next look to see whether we have power coming from our main control board to the pump itself. Like most front load washers, the electronics today are sophisticated enough that they will have some self-diagnostics built into the controls. Typically, a fault code would show up in the display to indicate that there was a failure with a particular component. In this case, there would have been an F failure code 
indicating a slow or no drain situation. These models also offer a self-diagnostic cycle that we can utilize to determine where that fault might actually lie. So we're going to go ahead and put this into a manual test mode and it will cycle through individual components, turning them on and off. Once we get to the drain portion of that test cycle, we'll look for voltage coming from that control board down to the drain motor. If we see voltage showing up at the control, we'll know that the problem is with the actual drain motor itself. If there is no voltage appearing at the control board, we can then safely assume that we have a defective control board. Now with the main top removed, we've located the main control board and using the schematic that comes with the product, we've identified which harness connector goes to the drain pump. And this particular one is located down on the side of the main control board. So with the washer in a diagnostic cycle with the drain cycle turned on, we should be able to measure for power coming out of that harness connector going to the pump. And as we can see, there is no voltage coming out of that control board to supply power to that drain pump. Therefore, the control board is defective. Thank you so much for watching. We certainly hope that it was helpful to you. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing.